So I know, I know your, uh, your, your TikTok is, uh, I've, I've said it as like Sid Jaquel. Um, do you prefer Sydney? Do you prefer Sid? Um, Sydney's good. Yeah. I actually did Sid J. Kell because I'm Sydney Janice Kelly and I didn't want any of my friends to see my account, but so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did a, a story about um, explaining our percentages and our forecasts sort of based on the fact that your, your TikTok went so viral. Um, and the, the way that um, you discovered in your TikTok is the way that we present our forecast here. So like 60%, 60% of the area kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, so one of the things we were wondering, just what brought up that uh, topic of conversation for you? Like, who who did you have that talk with that um, made you come to a realization that you were thinking about it in a totally different way than other people were? Yeah, that's a great question. And I wish that I could remember. Um, but what I thought might make it TikTok worthy is when I found it out, I just read it online somewhere, maybe read it. But then whenever I took the information that I thought was this mind-blowing thing to my husband and my parents, they were like, well, yeah, everybody knows that. And I was like, everybody knows this? So I made the TikTok thinking everyone on TikTok would make fun of me and say, yeah, everyone knows this. But instead, millions and millions of people said, wait, what? <laughs> Did you expect it to be uh, such a hot topic in the in the weather community? Because I mean, uh, oh. like I said, that, that's how we forecast it. But a lot of people do it differently. Yeah. So we have a friend who's a meteorologist and he said that I unknowingly stumbled on a hornet's nest. And I think that was a good <laughs> way to describe it. I definitely had no idea about any of this. He even sent me an article dating back to 1980, I think it was, where um, a group of meteorologists did some study on the term and how there's confusion with the term and there should be a consensus and so, I mean, that's, yeah, I have learned since that it, it goes back decades that it's a debated thing, even in, even in your community. Yeah. I mean, in fact, when we were researching the story, our, our, uh, my boss has been at, at our station for about 40 years. And he told me back in the seventies, it, it meant something completely different than any of us were even using it for now. Really? It was, it was something based on, um, it was, it was kind of more analog than it was, uh, predictive. So it'd be like, Hey, if six out of 10 days in the past looked like this day, then there's about a 60% chance that this oh, day would be raining. So that's where that's come from because I saw a lot of people comment that on the TikTok saying, no, it means what you just explained. But then whenever I went to Google that, there were no sources that were saying that. There was no meteorologist saying that's what it means now. But oh, okay, that's very interesting. Yeah. So historically, it was. Yeah, that that was right around the 1970s when they when they started doing computer modeling. Obviously, like I mean, there's more power in my phone now than the computers they had in the 1970s. So you can only do so much. Right. And it was easier to compare now to the past than it was to forecast the crazy type of resolution that we have now. Interesting. Wow. But yeah, I, I don't know anybody that actually uses it, uses it that way anymore. It's kind of yeah died off. Although that I guess that. Um, that thought process, people still think about it that way. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder if people, yeah, like their, you know, grandparents thought that or their older parents, and then it just kind of gets passed down still, even though it's not really used. Interesting. Yeah. Um, aside from the weather community fact for it, how is, um, how is having a viral TikTok been? What's it like to get that kind of attention more or less overnight? Um, it's, it's interesting. I mean, because you feel when you look at your phone or a computer or whatever, it's like, wow, this is big. But then you look up and you're like, oh, it's not, you know, my, it's, everything is exactly the same, actually. <laughs> it, doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, for the most part, it's fun. It's a fun experience. Um, it's not fun to get in touch um, or, or to just see the reality of the fact that when you remove face-to-face -face conversation, People will say things that they wouldn't normally say, you know, just kind of get ugly, even with something like weather percentages. They're like, you're lying. You're intentionally trying to spread misinformation. And I'm like, I didn't even think anyone would see the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But for so, the most part, it's been fun. Yeah. what One of those things where... Uh, it was it, it was sort of like a, a thing you did real quick and it was done and then 
someone else is ascribing like six or seven different steps of planning to go with it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, exactly. I'm like, guys, it's not, it's not that complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I can say from my experience, um, there's, like you said, there's certainly a disconnect between what people do online and what people would say in reality. Um, the, the keyboard courage, you might call it. Um, yeah. As a meteorologist, we, uh, there's nothing more that we get hate for than interrupting someone's television show for tornado warning or something like that. Oh and yeah. People send you the worst messages Man. when you Isn't do that. that. Crazy? And it's like, it's like, I'm just trying to, to alert people. <laughs> yeah. But the same people would never dare say that if they saw you in the grocery store. I mean, maybe a very, very tiny percentage, but no way would they come up to you and like, yeah. ah! <laughs> has anyone recognized you um, just like at the store or something since this has happened or. Um, no, not, not really. in person, but I've definitely had um, plenty of people from the wide web of acquaintances that I've had kind of forever somehow say like, oh, I saw this. You came up on my For You page, you know, or like my sister's old college roommate's cousin <laughs> contacting my sister and saying, hey, I saw your sister on my feed. And my sister's like, I haven't even heard from this person in 10 years, you know, <laughs> so funny stuff like that, but not recognized in person, no. Yeah. So, I mean, is there anything else that um, this experience has, I guess, brought to your attention or you would want to tell people or um, are you, are you planning, are you planning to try to build on this momentum in any way with, with TikTok or just go back no. to what you normally do? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Two things come to mind with that one. No, definitely not trying to build on the momentum. I don't even know where it is right now, but um, I, my daily use phone is a is a brick phone that can't access the internet. Like we don't have Wi-Fi at home. Like, so I scheduling this interview is kind of tricky because I had to wait till my husband got home to borrow his phone. Actually, the only reason that I was able to make that original video was because of the crazy storms that we had in Texas. So my husband and I decided to go stay at my parents' house where they have Wi-Fi and stuff. So I could shoot a couple of videos, you know, into the <laughs> the void. Um, but no, yeah, definitely not, not interested in, in um, any kind of, you know, more than the 15 seconds of fame that that video got. Um, and then secondly, what I would want to share is just hopefully meteorologists um, know that we need more education now. Like, please tell us what it means to you when you're saying 30% chance of rain. And I think that we need regular reminders um, because we might go to one station and it means one thing and another station, it means another. Um, and finally, I would share um, that apparently it is really important, or at least I've come to think that it's very, very important to go beyond whatever little bit of information that your weather app can give you. So now if I see it says like, it'll be a mostly nice day then whatever, but if it says 60% chance of rain, I realize now, no, I need to tune into the local meteorologist and see what it's talking about. Like, are they talking about just for one hour of the day that it's going to rain in 60% of the area? Because that's going to change my day in a very different manner than if they're saying like, you know, it's going to rain the entire day almost, and it's only going to cover this bit, that kind of a thing. So uh, meteorologists are important <laughs> and helpful way beyond our little weather apps can give. And uh, please continue educating us. <laughs> you know, people people are going to think that I, I, I planted that answer because I mean, no. I'm gonna tell you, that, that answer right there is going to make you very popular with the weather community because that's kind of the <laughs> thing we've been trying to say for a while is that the, the apps just don't give you enough detail. The weather's very complicated and trying to nail it down to just one number to plan your whole day around it. it it just doesn't work that way very often. Yeah. And also it's just the realization that, I mean, you're, it's a very, very complicated science and it has your own, you know, educated guessing in there. So it's not going to be a dead on kind of a thing, but with understanding the different things that percent of rain can actually mean, y'all are also wrong way less than most <laughs> of us thought. Way less, <laughs> way less. Like the fact that we know now, that your forecast could have been dead on when it says 30% and it's raining, that's a game changer <laughs> for sure. Yeah, the, the, the way some of those numbers are calculated, like to actually verify that forecast, like if the weather service says it's going to rain 
and they got 0. 0.01 inches of rain. That technically checks the box yeah. for their forecast because all it has to do is be measured. And like but said, most people aren't looking for, am I only going to get 0. 0.01? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Which is where the extra detail comes in. Because yes. like if during our forecast, we can explain that to people We're like, hey, it's going to rain uh, more or less everywhere, but it's going to be very, very light. And it's not going to be very big of a problem versus it's going to rain all day very hard and it's going to flood. Both of those could have the same percentage in the forecast. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> Weather's hard. Well, I, I, I appreciate you taking this time. Um, I did hear you say you lived in Texas. I, I just moved from Texas. I lived oh. in Tyler for the past uh, two and a half years up until oh. last June. I moved up to Michigan. Wow. Big change in weather. <laughs> Definitely. But I mean, you guys got the huge amount of snow down there, too. So I mean, yeah, <laughs> I could have stayed That's another true. year. We were been not there. prepared. Not prepared. <laughs> Well, I hope you have a, a great rest of your Friday, Sydney, and a, and, a, and a great weekend. Great. Thanks so much, Mike. Thank you. Bye. Bye.